when we said moving back into the van, oh boy, did we not know what was gonna happen. <laughs> it's van life on hard mode. Yeah, it sort of is. So today is a really exciting day because we are going to get our van out of storage and move back in. So if you've been with us for a while, you'll probably remember that a year and a half ago, uh, we bought this van and we converted it into a camper that we drove all across Europe. We started in the Arctic Circle all the way up in the very north of Sweden, drove it down through Europe, through Switzerland and the Baltics, all the way to Turkey. But then we popped it into storage as we left for Latin America for a couple months over winter. But now, today is the day. <laughs> I like it. And there's also going to be a bit of unexpected news in this video that we'd rather not have gotten. <laughs> this just sucks. I mean... Ah! Good morning, guys. Welcome to Belgium. We are at my parents' house right now and we are going to go pick up our van that has been in storage for the past four months or so. Feeling a little bit nervous slash anxious about this actually because, I mean, you never know what you're going to find. I just hope there's no rodents in there and that nothing broke and that the battery hasn't died, but we'll see in a minute. Links There she is. He is. And? It smells a bit like... A car that sat here for four months. Yeah, like a car that sat here for four months. But uh, other than that, some dust of course. So we, we, we need to do some cleaning. Let's hope it starts. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> Haven't gotten a proper look inside yet, but at least it doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. <laughs> I like it. Now we're gonna drive back to uh, Kim's parents' house. Do you want my mama? Quick check in the bathroom. Oh, nothing came up through the drain. So there are no rodents. There should be no rodents in here. And this actually looks very, very clean and completely fine as well. To turn on the electricity again. Okay, so we have light. Did we have light? Oh, we, a few of the lights don't work anymore. This, this one. Oh, I, I need to push it. Oh, look at that! It's now a tap sort of thing. The fan is working. Just doing a quick check to see if there are no obvious issues or leaks. It doesn't seem like it at the moment. It literally looks the exact same way it did when we left it. Yeah, with a sprinkle of dust and a bit of stale smell, but nothing bad. No? I'm pleasantly surprised because I was getting really nervous. This looks absolutely disgusting. We forgot to clean the, van, the fan when we put it in storage. We cleaned everything else, but that we were like, we'll do it next time. So we didn't really properly dismantle it and look at it, but I'm literally gonna have to clean this part by part, bucket by bucket, because it's just so disgusting that immediately the water just becomes really, really dirty. This is literally the dirt that comes off those blades after just one swipe. And I'm just uh, cleaning the cab here. All in all, super happy about the state of the van. Oh, bringing in the big guns. This is the manual side. And that is the efficient side. Mom is already done and Nike is just getting started.
There, there, would you look at this? Isn't this much better already? Now that we've got uh, most of the van pretty much clean, we can start moving in some of our stuff. Uh, we haven't made as much progress as we would hope for because yeah, it's always the way it goes, I guess. But it took me two hours yeah. to just clean the van. But I've never seen it so clean, so that's that's really great. Now we're just moving in stuff uh, or stuffing in stuff. And then tomorrow probably we're going to be uh, unpacking and loading everything and moving back in. So excited. And now we just have to make sure that the cushion covers are on our rubber foam mattress again so we can sleep on there, so we have all our bedding and all our stuff. Oh, quite a lot to do actually. <laughs> <laughs> the final piece. Bam. Starting to look like our van again. Make sure we survive our first night in the van. Kim's mom gave us Belgian beer, four hard boiled eggs, which is a tradition for Easter that we have, which is in two weeks. Survival package. We spent the next couple of days visiting friends and family and we're planning on doing a small road trip with the van to celebrate moving back in. At one point, Naik started developing cold-like symptoms, a sore throat, a runny nose, so he had a COVID test done just in case. Hello. How awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Al. Finally, it's now the next day. Um, they told me I would have the result around noon today, so I was like checking my email every half an hour. Now it's uh, 10 to 6. Finally, 20 minutes ago, they sent me the result. Anyway. I'm just gonna open it. It sucks so hard if this was positive. Please don't be. Positive. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> this just sucks. I mean, ah! and now there's even two options. Like I really have COVID now recently, which, which is possible. I mean, I don't like sort of a cold, but it, feel, it really feels like a cold. If that's the case, okay, that's fine. But it could also be that um, in January when Kim tested positive for COVID, I was also sick, but I never tested positive, even though I, I did three different tests. It could just be that I'm still testing positive from back then. It's actually quite quite normal for people to yeah. still test positive within three months of getting it, and for, it would still be free. I mean, it is what it is. I need to quarantine for a week. Ta-da! Not much I can do about it. I mean, test says positive, so. It just sucks but because we've already done the quarantine. Why can we not get sick at the same time? <clears throat> she says, coughing. <laughs> because initially we were like if we have to quarantine it's not that bad we can just do it in the van because I mean we don't have a house here we're not currently in a house um, we cannot really go to friends and family obviously we have our van but right now we're in like a random parking lot Aww. one week of quarantine but I started yesterday so and today is also 6, 6 p.m. now so Five more Four days. more days. Five more days. So so it's Thursday. So five more days. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So Wednesday, I can leave again. I feel so sick suddenly. Oh my God! Yeah, can you take care of me? It hurts. Ow! Are you hearing this? Can you grab me some cookies? My goodness. Do we have cookies? 
It's gonna be a long four days, folks. Really yeah. long. My shoulders hurt. I need a back rub. Ow. I'm gonna check him into a hospital <laughs> just for my own comfort. So, it does not seem like the best idea, since my is tested positive, to stay in this parking lot near a shopping center where there are loads of people anymore. Um, so, we're gonna drive this baby out of here. Can't believe we're actually gonna quarantine in this van. <laughs> Damn, I'm hungry. Uh, please stop. Yeah. Don't. I'll kill you. I'll end you. I'll put you out of your misery right now. Hey, just got a text message. Dear Nicholas, you will be called within 48 hours by this number. Funny thing is, it doesn't say who will call me or why, I guess. <laughs> it will be like... It's maybe not even COVID related. It's just someone announcing their call to you. I think it will be the COVID contact team for calling, but it's not written in there. And if you're wondering, yes, Nicolas is my official name. Uh, my parents wanted to call me Nike and the uh, local government said, Nah, that, that's not a name. Like, here's a book. Look in the book. If the name's there, it's a name. If it's not there, it's not a name. You can't name him Nike. So, parents had to pick another name and they named me Nicholas after my grandfather. But I'm actually Nike just disguised as Nicholas. Ta da! Here we are. Our secret spot. Well, not so secret because there's a camping ground here which is paying and you get it electricity and water there but there's also this version which is just like a really big parking lot where there's usually nobody except for those cars are empty three campers now and that's it okay. so yeah in a radius of 50 meters there won't be anybody around us if you live in a hey people walk the other way <laughs> yeah. on one hand it doesn't seem so smart to quarantine in our van but on the other hand I mean, it's small, but it's only four days. Airbnbs here are quite expensive, so it seems like the best option for the moment. Ask me again tomorrow. thing is also oh that's not good the good thing is also that we just restocked our fridge the little light in here is broken but literally just went to the grocery store this morning so we have everything we could possibly want and here we have 24 liters of drinking water it is the return to van life hardcore though like when we said moving back into the van Oh boy, did we not know what was going to happen? <laughs> it's van life on hard mode. We have water, we have some food. I, th I think we can make it. I think we can survive. Ow, it hurts so much. Fresh lime juice. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Mm. Good morning guys today I'm actually gonna get tested as well I do have just like the mildest runny nose and a bit of like sneezing and a sore throat but since I've already had COVID like confirmed confirmed for sure I had it um, the odds are really really super low that that's what this is the Belgian government even says even if you test positive twice in 90 days we're gonna count we're just gonna assume that the second one is still testing positive from the first time you had it. so it doesn't immediately seem very useful to do it 
except the first time I had COVID obviously was in Mexico. It was not in Belgium. So I do not have all the registered Belgian paperwork that confirms that, hey, this person has had COVID in the past. If I get tested now and it's positive, at least then this time the Belgian government, because I'm taking a Belgian test, is going to give me all the necessary paperwork. And for example, we go to Canada to do the Pan American and I test positive then, then at least I can say, ah, but I have this little piece of paper proving that it's from an old infection. So that's what we're going to do today. Wish me luck. Here we go again. And we're back, folks. And we're back. Back into the van. Back to prison. <laughs> I feel like a prisoner locked up with my inmate. After you, with your guard. Yeah, with my guard. Yeah, but that's when he is. He's still COVID-19 compared to the Spanish Yeah, that Yeah, that's Yeah, that's I just got a text message on my phone, they're gonna send me the results through text message, so we'll see. Positive. Yeah? Yeah. Woohoo! It's almost impossible. Like, this is probably from Mexico, but even in case it's not, I mean, we're in the quarantine now. Um, it sort of sucks because. How long am I gonna continue to test positive for if it's still from, assuming it's still from the Mexico infection, but yeah. The important thing is, <clears throat> you feel fine, much better than last time, so regardless of whether it's a cold, a flu, COVID, we're here now, we're doing this. Speak for yourself. In then. our tiny prison, I mean tiny house. I'm dying, please help. Oh, I need some cookies. And ice cream. I didn't buy cookies or ice cream. Pancakes. I can give you a banana, but that's all I got. A banana? No cookies? <laughs> Morning, guys. It is now day four, I think. And we're actually gonna move. So we're here on the campsite, but the place we are at is not actually the campsite itself. It's more like a big parking lot. The campsite is over there where you have electricity, water, and you can like empty your toilet and throw away your trash, which is exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to move about 47 meters. We're going to empty our toilet because otherwise it's going to be a quarantine. You can just book a spot online and it has license plate recognition. So you can just roll in pretty smoothly. gonna let out our green water as well into this little reservoir here. Madam, I come bearing gifts for you. Please put it down. You go girl. <laughs> this definitely is not my favorite part of living in a van. Chemical toilet. Not necessarily the most pleasant job, but then I don't think any poo related job in a van ever is. Even if you have like one of the nice composting toilets. The food delivery has arrived. It's like Uber Eats, but better. Uber Mom. To see what Naith's mom brought us. We gave her a bit of a grocery list since we're not allowed to do it ourselves. And contrary to every other place that we've ever had to quarantine before, here in Tonga, you do not have Uber Eats, you do not have a Rappi shopping delivery. I know, civilization has barely reached this place, but anyway. A baguette, a bread, pink lady apples, the best in the world. Stuff for on the bread. <laughs> Then we have a smoothie, some fresh soup, some tomato, <gasps> cookies. We didn't ask for those. Ooh. And then, 
<laughs> oh my god, pastries. We didn't ask for English. those either. Because like, we were like, yeah, let's not order like cookies and sweet stuff because... Let's not pick out like the last quarantine that made us fat. Thanks mom, I love you. <laughs> if you're not familiar with these, these are eclairs, puff pastries, chocolate layer on top, creamy vanilla pudding on the inside. Wow. Well, there's a mysterious looking guy with a mustache there. Did you order more food, Kim? What? Yeah, yeah. Spaghetti sauce and strawberries. Uber dad. Uber dad. These are the first Belgian strawberries of the season. It's really nice though that people, so many people, you and Alicia, family, friends, have offered to bring us stuff. Um, and that's really, really nice and really, really easy about being so close to where a lot of the people we know live as well. It is sort of nice to be in the van when it's sunny. The weather has been great the past few days. You're gonna be have to be careful because there are some bits here that are a bit sharp. Oh, my back is so itchy. It's like, oh, oh my God. Meat just for me. Oh. I'm gonna need my spoon back. I'm gonna have to wash it again in the dishes. No. Ow! No, it's sharp on the sides. No! Kidding. Mom came bearing gifts. We've actually really been paying attention to what we've been eating over the past couple of days. Cooking all of our food ourselves, mostly veggies. But, I mean, this is the second last day of the quarantine. And just to have a little pre-celebration that it's almost coming to an end, we wanted... Normally when we get back to Belgium, the first thing we do, or like the first day or second day, what we do, we eat Belgian fries, but somehow we, uh, we've been in Belgium now for a week, one and a half week. We have not eaten, like, sorry, I'm starting to drool a little bit now. Just unpack it already, God damn it. These are not the fries. I don't mean to upset you or make you panic, but these are, I look they are. <laughs> oh, fries. Oh, look at them. Oh. Um, these, these are mine, Kev. Take one. Oh my god. <laughs> I missed that so much. Oh, we have the best fries in the world. Mm. Thanks, mom. Really big thank you. Thanks, mom. Just got off work. And he called her and he, she was like, What's up? And he was like, Nothing much. Just hungry and, oh, and feeling like having fries, but we can't go and get them. So she offered to go and get us some. Mm. <laughs> mm. Good morning guys, today is the last day of our quarantine. Couldn't be more excited because well, it's been uh, quite a while and just uh, a few square meters but but we've been uh, pretty busy with working doing research um editing a bunch of other stuff and we've to be honest neglected to move really back into the van like there's a bunch of spices here there's some clothes there's a box there there's a backpack with stuff in it but today is the day All right, we managed to clean up pretty much everything, put all the clothes in the closet. Everything has been arranged except for our crap drawer, which literally holds all the crap that we couldn't find a good spot for. And we were like, hey, it still fits in here. The problem is stuff has st stopped fitting in there. We can no longer close the drawer. We can no longer put more crap in it. So I think it's time to face our demons. Half of the stuff we have never even used actually. A mini fan. Fairy lights, Christmas music thingy that my dad gave me. 
I think you get the point. Ta da! How crazy is this? Oh, uh, you cannot imagine how much nicer it is to live in a van when the van is entirely organized and clean. What's and this? And this? That we were trying to hide that. Oh. Uh. Remember? Squeaky! Good morning. Today is a glorious day. It is the end of our quarantine. Mm -hmm. We have been uh, in the van for exactly one week now. We couldn't go outside, which we didn't. But it's over. Fun. We survived it. One week of quarantine in the van. But you know what I'm really looking forward to? We're gonna go for a walk, but it's actually sort of raining a little bit. But look at this. This is the outside world. It looks beautiful. We're gonna go get some new groceries and just do stuff people do when they're not in quarantine anymore. Have to wear a face mask for the next three days when we're around people. After that, folks, it it's all done. <laughs> we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.